Hello dear students, welcome once again to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today is clip 31 and that is Problems on Ages part 2. Did you watch clip 30? That was based on again problem on ages. It was part 1. There we saw some straight examples we didn't, that didn't have much twisted language. But today we are going to solve few twisted examples and that time I also told you in part 1 that I am going to show you one shortcut trick. So today we are going to learn that shortcut trick and I am going to show you how we are going to use that trick for part 1 examples also. So what I advise you or suggest you that keep your part 1 notes ready because we are going to solve two examples from that using shortcut. If you haven't yet watched part 1, please watch it first, then part 2 you will find easy. If you are already good at problems on ages, you can directly begin with part 2, I don't mind. But sometimes what happens, if students directly watch part 2, they feel kind of lost. They feel that their basics are not solid and then they think that I must keep this problems on ages. These are very difficult. This shouldn't happen with us. Problems on ages is very easy. So let's begin with part 2. First example. I am as old today as my mother was when I was born. What is the ratio of present ages of me to my mother? Now this language kind of confuses some students. What I advised you in part 1 do you remember? If you don't understand this language, straight away use numbers and try to understand the problem. So that's what we are going to do today. Forget about this example totally. Forget. Keep yourself. Keep yourself in this situation. You yourself and your mother. Suppose when you were born, your mother was 25 years old. Suppose she may be 20, 21, 22, whatever. I don't know. I'm Just for the sake of example, I'm assuming that when you were born, your mother was 25. Right? So 25 years later, what happened? Now your age is 25 and your mother is 50, double of you. Am I right? Correct. Now suppose you were born when your mother was 23. Suppose you were born when your mother was 23. So 23 years later, what happened? Now you have turned 23 and your mother has turned 46. That is double of you, isn't it? If you have understood this concept, now let us turn to the example. I am as old today as my mother was when I was born. Now do you understand this line? What is the ratio of present ages of me and my mother? So what I am going to do here, I am going to assume my present age as x. My present age is x years. That means when was I born? That means I was born x years ago. Isn't it? If today my age is 20, that means I was born 20 years ago. Right? So my present age is x. So I was born x years ago. Everybody agrees with this? Right. And now what the example says? I am as old today as my mother was when I was born. When I was born? x years ago. And that time my mother was x. My present age is x. I am as old today as my mother was. That means she was x. When? When I was born. So, x years ago when I was born, that time my mother was x. x years ago, my mother was x years old. Are you getting this? So, what is her age today? Suppose, 
if i tell you 5 years ago my age was 20 so today you will immediately say oh you are 25 you just add 5 to your age 5 years back isn't it now this was the age x years ago so today what it will be x plus x that is 2x this will be my mother's present age do you agree x years ago my mother was x years old so today she will be x plus x that is 2x my mother's present age now what they are asking us what is the ratio of present ages of me to my mother now what is my present age my present age is x and my mother's present age is 2x so this is 1 upon 2 or 1 is to 2 that's the same example i gave you when we started this session if you were born when your mother was 25 and now you are 25 so your mother is 50 so the ratio is 25 is to 50 that is 1 is to 2 suppose you were born when your mother was 23 so after 23 years she will be 46 and you will be 23 so 23 is to 46 again 1 is to 2 so whenever you find such language in the example convert it into your own age your own age your mother's age put yourself in the example put use real numbers then you will immediately understand the relation so this type of example can be solved in few seconds without any calculation i have written everything just to explain you don't have to write all these things this is just oral calculation you when you put some imaginary numbers here you will understand that the ratio is 1 is to 2 if this example is not clear to you please rewind this video and watch it again because this is again favorite example of examiners many times i have seen this example repeating in many exams and that's the reason i particularly covered it here if you haven't understood please watch it again clear now let's move to next example when i was born the ratio of my mother's age to my father's age was 5 is to 6 after few years my sister was born and the ratio was 7 is to 8 i am 40 today and now that ratio is 15 is to 16 what is my sister's age so here we are talking about four persons mother father me and my sister ratio is given of mother and father always this is the ratio when i was born this is the ratio when sister was born and this is the ratio presently so three ratios are given to us and we need to find sister's age so what is our idea what we do that we draw a table mother father and we write those three scenarios that is our usual trick that we saw in first part so let's do that i'm doing it here you also do it on your notebook so my table is ready mother father now they are saying when i was born 5 is to 6 was the ratio and i am 40 today that means we are talking about 40 years ago if i am 40 today that means i was born 40 years back isn't it so i have written here 40 years ago the ratio was 5 is to 6 so i have assumed common multiple x that is 5x and 6x so presently what will happen if these were the ages 40 years ago today they will be 5x plus 40 and 6x plus 40 and somewhere here sister was born we don't know when she was born we have to find her age so we don't know when she was born but today the ratio is 5x plus 40 and 6x plus 40 and they are saying i am 40 today and now that ratio is 15 is to 16 that means 5x plus 40 upon 6x plus 40 is 15 is to 16 agreed do cross multiplication solve it and tell me the answer what is x so we did the cross multiplication and solve it 
and we got x is equal to 4. Now we have this value x is equal to 4. So if I multiply it here 5 4 is at 20 and this will be 6 4 is at 24. So 40 years ago when I was born my mother was 20 and my father was 24. Do you get this? Now I said after few years sister was born and we don't know when she was born. So what I can do? After this, I can assume she was born y years later. So y years later. That is 40 years ago their ages were 20 and 24. And y years later when sister was born their ages will be 20 plus y and 24 plus y. Isn't it? 20 plus y, 24 plus y. And that time what happened? That time ratio of their ages was 7 is to 8. That means 20 plus y upon 24 plus y is 7 upon 8. Got this? Now do the cross multiplication and tell me the value of y. When I solve this with cross multiplication, I get value of y as 8. I hope all of you got. See these are very easy to solve. You shouldn't take much time solving it. Y is equal to 8. So what does it mean? 40 years ago I was born and Y years later that is 8 years later my sister was born. That means what? My sister was born 8 years later than me correct that means she is eight years younger to me isn't it that means sister is eight years younger than me you agree with this right so today today i am 40 so what will be my sister she is eight years younger so she will be 40 minus eight that is 32 your answer is 32. Very clear how we solved it? There were three ratios. So first we took this ratio 40 years old and then we found out x. Then we took this y years later and then we found out y and we applied it here and that's how we got sister's age. Very clear we used all three ratios. Now let's see the shortcut and then we will apply to part 1 examples also. 40 years ago when I was born, mother and father's age was 5 to 6. So I have written here 40 years ago 5 to 6. Then sister was born. I don't know when she was born. It's not given in the example. And today the ratio is 15 is to 16. So from here to here, 40 years have passed from here to here. And the ratio has changed by how many points? 5 became 15, 6 became 16. So ratio has changed by 10 parts. 5 to 15, 6 to 16. So ratio has changed by 6, uh, 10 parts in how many years? 40 years. Getting it? 10 parts in 40 years. Do you agree? Right. Now when sister was born, they are saying the ratio was 7 is to 8. This is also given to us. How many parts are these? 5 to 7, 6 to 8. That means these are 2 parts. 2 parts change. Are you getting it? Now 10 parts means 40 years. So 2 parts will mean how many years what you can do you can do cross multiplication this into this divided by this or here it is oral 10 parts is to 40 now two parts that is one fifth one fifth of this is eight or you can do cross multiplication 2 into 40 divided by 10 again you will get 8 only so 8 that means 
this distance is 8 distance between this point and this point is 8 years because it is two parts that means sister was born 8 years after I was born so she is 8 years younger than me I am 40 so she is 32 it took it took only few seconds do you like this shortcut to understand it more we are going to solve more examples so don't worry uh, let's move to our part 1 examples this is the example from part 1 ratio of present ages of Pravin and Rahul it 8 is to 9 4 years ago it was 7 is to 8 what will be the ratio 4 years later so I have just written here 4, four years ago it was 7 is to 8 this is given to us Today it is 8 is to 9 that is also given to us. So if you see 7 to 8, 8 to 9. So it has moved one part. One part in how many years? In 4 years it has moved one part. Are you getting it? So this is one part move in 4 years. Now question is what will be their age? Four, ratio of their ages 4 years later. So again they are asking about 4 years only. So here we saw that it moves 1 part in 4 years. So now again it will move 1 part. So 8 will become 9 and 9 will become 10. So your answer is 9 is to 10. We had solved it here. It was 9 is to 10 and here also we solved it orally 9 is to 10. Did you get this? Now you can use this shortcut only when both ratios move in equal parts. Like 7 becomes 8, 8 becomes 9. So both have moved by one part. Only then you can use this shortcuts, shortcut. So I have uh, covered the basic method also. That is when they don't move by equal parts. Then how to solve that we already covered. But this shortcut you can use when they both move equally. And if you haven't understood this shortcut, then also don't uh, mind because you know the basic method. That is also not difficult. Let's see one more example of shortcut. This is again the example from part 1. 6 years ago, ratio of ages of A and B was 2 is to 3. Ratio of their present ages 3 is to 4. Find the present ages. So I have written here A and B. 6 years ago, 2 is to 3 given to us. Today it is 3 is to 4 that is also given to us. That means what? In 6 years it has moved by one part. 2 became 3. 3 became 4. Which means one part is equal to 6 years. Ratio of movement. When you see this movement of ratio. One part is equal to 6 years. And question is what are their present ages? Now these are 3 parts and these are 4 parts. One part is 6 years. So this will be 6, 3 is a 18 and this will be 4, 6 is a 24. So your answer is 18 and 24. See we had already found it here 18 and 24 but we did bit of calculation. That is also necessary when shortcut is not applicable. Here shortcut was applicable because ratios moved by similar parts. But when they are not moving by similar parts you need to stick to your basic method only so we have covered both basic as well as shortcut five siblings were born two years apart ratio of present ages of youngest and oldest is 5 is to 13 what was the ratio of middle one to youngest one year back that is one year ago what does this mean five siblings were born two years apart means after every two years one uh, sister or one brother was born so if i talk about present ages suppose the youngest one the youngest one is x then the next then the older one who is elder than the youngest one will be x plus 2 two years different again x uh, then two years difference so x plus 4 again two years difference x plus 6 again two years difference x plus 8 so these are five siblings this will be youngest one and this will be oldest one. I assume this as their present ages. If I assume eldest one as x, 
then this will be x minus 2 x minus 4 x minus 6 x minus 8 that way also you can solve answer is going to be same here I have assumed present age of youngest one as x so then next becomes x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 6 and x plus 8 now they are saying that ratio of present ages of youngest and oldest is 5 to 3 so x upon x plus 8 is 5 to 13 do the cross multiplication and find the value of x when I solved it by doing cross multiplication I got the answer x is equal to 5 so what are their present ages if youngest is 5 this will be 7 this will be 9 this will be 11 and this will be 13 now the question is what was the ratio of middle one to youngest one year back this is middle one and this is youngest what are their ages today 5 and 9 isn't it so one year back their ages will be 4 and 8 now you need to be very careful here what is up the question language what was the ratio of middle one to youngest middle one is this and youngest is this so it is 8 upon 4 that is 2 is to 1 if by mistake you take 4 is to 8 and you will think it is 1 is to 2 and if the first option is 1 is to 2 you will jump with joy that is your answer match the options isn't it and then you will mark it and then what will happen though you understood everything you solved everything correctly you will get a big zero so what you need to do you need to be very focused on this last line what was the ratio of middle one to youngest one year back this is also important one year back sometimes we forget to subtract one this is one years back not presently so we subtracted one and then middle one to youngest so 8 to 4 so it is 2 is to 1 this example was very easy but I covered it because of this language many don't understand the meaning of this line where born two years apart means what their common difference is 2 that is the meaning some also get confused whether this should be x or this should be x anything can be x if youngest is x this will be plus 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 if the oldest one is x it will be minus 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 you solve it you are going to get the answer same 2 is to 1 very clear let's move to next example next example ratio of present ages of a and b is 2 is to 3 ratio of present ages of b and c is 5 is to 8 find the ratio of ages of c to a if you remember part 1 we have solved some combined ratio problems so what is given to us a upon b is given to us it is 2 by 3 b upon c is given to us that is 5 upon 8 and question is ratio of C to A. It is not A to C. It is C to A. So we want C upon A and not A upon C. But once we get A upon C, we can take the reciprocal. Now how do we solve this? Do you remember? If you don't remember, you can watch part 1. We have done some examples or I will explain here again also. When I multiply this, what will happen? B will get cancelled. So let me try this a upon b into b upon c so it is 2 upon 3 into 5 upon 8 b will get cancelled so I will be left with a upon c and here 2 ones are 2 fours are so 5 upon 12 so a is to c is 5 upon 12 but I want c upon a so it will be 12 upon 5 or 12 is to 5 that is your answer now we all know how to solve combined ratio problem but what happens when it is converted into word problem we get lost oh how to solve it I don't know a by b is given b upon c is given but what I'll do with c and a their ages are not given to me how they are related actually it is same a upon b b upon c is given and find a upon c that question is only converted into words nothing different so don't get confused by the language 
your answer is 12 is to 5. In this same problem, they may add this line. If C's age is 24, what is A's age? Now it is very easy. This is C and this is A. Now 12 is 24. So 5 will be 10. We have solved so many such problems of ratio and proportion. So if they have given us C's age and they want A's age. So what they basically want is relation between A and C. That we can find out by doing this multiplication. Very clear? So here how will you solve it? C to A we have found out as 12 is to 5. If C is 24 what will be A? Either you can do cross multiplication this into this divided by this or here it's just oral 12 to za so 5 to za is age will be 10. Clear? If you like this video give your comments likes and suggestion you can subscribe to the channel maths in minutes with Priya it's absolutely free you can suggest it to your friends too. Next time in continuation with ratio and proportion I am going to start with mixture and allegation. That is also one topic where students get confused because a lot of percentage is there and uh, some milk and water mixed together in the ratio 5 to 3. Milk percent is 15 percent then some water is taken out then milk is added. So many combinations are there and it's, sometimes it gets difficult to solve. So we will see next time how to solve mixture and allegation type of questions which are based on ratio, proportion and percentages. There are also some tricks that we will discuss in next part. So see you till then. Take care of yourself. Stay happy and stay blessed. Bye for today.